Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at some examples of closure under addition when it comes to whole numbers. So let's remember what that closure property for the addition of whole numbers says. It says that if A and B are whole numbers, then A plus B is a unique whole number. In other words, if we add two whole numbers, we get a new whole number. So we know that the set of whole numbers are closed under addition. But what about other subsets of the whole numbers? Remember, in general, closure on an operation means that if we perform that operation on the given set, the result should still be inside the set. So let's take a look at a super basic set. Let's determine if the set A equals just the number zero is closed under addition. Well, closure means if we take any number in the set, in this case zero, and we add it with any other number in the set, there's only one, what is the result, first of all? Well, it's zero. Is that number also in the set? In this case, yes. So this set A is closed because all of the possible operations or all of the possible additions with values in this set land you right back in the set. Okay, let's take a different set. Let's take the set B of whole numbers n where n is even. So if we were to think about the numbers in that set, that would include 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on, right? So the question is, if I take any two even numbers, is the result even? Well, let's think about it. If a number is even, then it is divisible by 2, right? So let's say I take 2n. Okay, that's just any even number. And let's say I add to that some other even number, like 2m, right? That's divisible by 2. Well, then the sum there, if I factored out that 2, would be 2 times m plus n, which is also even because it is divisible by 2. So yes, the subset of even whole numbers is closed under addition. What about a very similar subset, the set of odd whole numbers? Well, let's think, what would that look like? That would be one, three, five, seven, and so on, right? Well, let's just take an example, right? Let's take one plus three, right? Well, one plus three is four. Is four odd? No, certainly not. It's even. So because we added two values and got a value outside of the set, this one is not closed under addition. Not closed. All right, let's take just a little finite subset. Let's take one, two, three. Well, here let's think about what are the possibilities? What are the ways that we could add elements in this set? Well, we could add one plus one, that's two. Two is in the set, so that's good. What else could we add? We could add one plus two. One plus two is three, and that's in the set. Okay, so so far we're good. We could also add one plus three, right? One plus three is four. Oh, now we have a problem, right? Four is not in our set here. So that means this one is not closed. If even one of the possible additions doesn't result in being an element in the set, we are not closed under addition here. All 
All right, let's take this subset, x such that x is in the whole numbers and x is less than six. Okay, well, another way to write that would be, let's list out all the whole numbers that are less than six. That would be zero, one, two, three, four, and five, right? That's all the whole numbers that are less than six. So we wanna know if that set is closed under addition. So take some possibilities, right? I'm gonna start at the high end this time. I'm gonna add five with itself, right? Don't forget when you're checking your possibilities, not only do, can you add each element with another element, but you can add each element with itself. So five plus five results in 10. 10 is not an element in this set, which means that this set is not closed on addition. All right, and let's take one last one for this video. Just flipping it around here now, we want to take all the whole numbers, so x such that x is a whole number and x is greater than 6. So this time, this set would be starting at 6, nope, sorry, starting at 7, because we want to be greater than 6, that would be 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth, right? All the way out as far and as high as you could count. So let's think about this. Well, let's take even the smallest value, right? Let's add the smallest value with itself, 7 plus 7. That gives me 14, and 14 would be about there, so 14 is in the set. The next smallest possible sum would be seven plus eight. So now adding the two smallest values, and that is 15. Well, 15 would be in the set. If I continued in this pattern, if the smallest one, seven plus seven, is in there, and every sum after that is bigger, then every possible sum is going to be found in this set. So this one is closed. All right, guys, that's just a few examples of checking for closure of addition on subsets of the whole numbers. Hope it was helpful. We'll catch you in the next one.